Flora Griffin. I'm with Loudon Living at Pearson Smith Realty. I'm a top selling real estate agent in the Northern Virginia area. I'm also the Loudon mom. I own a, I ran a mom's group in Loudon County with 10,000 moms strong. So I get calls, I don't even know how many times a year from clients who are saying, I wanna buy new construction, but they stopped selling a house in that community and they say they're closed and what's going on? Um, so let's break it down. Why does a builder close a community for sales in a particular month when there's a ton of demand or there's a lot of people that want to buy a house there. So let's think about why they might do that, right? So if they're selling off a community of say a thousand homes, they're not going to want to sell, you know, 300 in a month, right? So they're going to want to stretch the sales out for as not as long as they can, but for a long time, for a few years. And there's a few reasons. A few reasons are they're going to make more money, right? So as new sections come online, they're going to get a little bit more money for each section, right? Also, they want to do that because their production team, if they sold 300 homes one month, their production team would probably explode. They wouldn't be able to do it. Most builders can do between five and 25 homes per month, depending on, are we in the middle of a pandemic like we are now and are materials readily available? Um, or are things kind of clicking along like they do in a normal time? So it really just depends also how many production members do they have? You know, do they have enough electrical teams and plumbing teams? So sometimes they will close sales to kind of um, play catch up with production, right? Production said, hey, you know, we've sold too many homes. We need to catch up a little bit. Maybe we're down a crew or something's happened. Or another reason might be, hey, lumber looks like it's going up. Let's kind of stall out for a few weeks, see what the prices will do. And then we have to adjust our base price because it's going to go up and we don't want to lose money. So sometimes builders will close a community to kind of stretch out the sales. And sometimes it's financially driven because, you know, they want to um, do a new release maybe next month and then get a higher price. But most of the time it's production driven. They cannot sell any more homes. So, you know, when clients call me, it's, the, you know, maybe it's the second week of the month and they're freaking out because they really want to buy a house in that community. It's like, wait, this is perfect. And the reason being is you have the next two or three weeks to kind of get your ducks in a row especially in a community where there might be three or four builders, let's take time, let's go see each builder, really hone in on which model you want, because maybe they're teeter-tottering over two models. Um, see which one will be a better fit for your family, better fit for your needs. Maybe they don't have a model of the house that you want, but maybe they've built one already and it's maybe a drywall or the kitchen's already installed and go look at it. So really taking that time and doing your homework is not bad. Um, you can also take that time to kind of identify the new lots that are going to be coming out. You know, where do you want to be? And maybe pick your top three. Also kind of figure out well, what are lot premiums going to be? Because maybe your top three, you know, are going to put you over budget because of the lot premium. Maybe we need to focus on other ones. Um, and get a handle around structural options. And what we typically do is, I always say new construction. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Um, you know, I had a conversation the other day with an agent in my office. And I have six homes under contract in this new hot new community. And that person cannot even get one appointment with the builder. Their client has been clamoring, cannot get in there. <laughs> and they asked me and they said, Hey, Laura, could you call your contacts and get us an appointment? I was like, you know, yeah, that's fine. Um, so in new construction, it's not what you know, it's who you know, it's those relationships with those builders. Um, you know, I don't, yeah, I go in, I'm very, you try to be kind, be respectful of their time. In fact, I always, they always tell me like I had the best clients, they're always the nicest, they're always the most prepared. It's not a mess and a train wreck. They don't know what they want. They're changing contracts every five minutes. Um, so really having that relationship where the builders know, like, and trust you as a realtor and know, like, then they know, like, and trust your clients. And that's where you're going to get better service and get the appointments that you want. I have never had a client who wanted a new construction home in a new construction community not get the house that they wanted and not get the appointment. I always get it because I know the, and I've built the relationships with the builders. It is so critical. So when I tell clients, hey, they're closed for the month, they're going to open up on the first um, or whatever day they end up opening. Let's take this time, figure out the house that you want. The sales rep will price the house out for you, ready to go. Now, with a caveat that it may change when they do the next release but that's fine. You know, they, they typically don't go up a ton. I would say I'm seeing anywhere from 10 to 30, 40,000. It's not a lot of money, but they still could go up for the next, um, the next section that they release or the next block of homes that they release. 
So don't be afraid if you see a community that's new is closed for business. It just means that they need to play catch up, right? Um, and I think we can all appreciate and understand that, especially in the time that we're in now. So if you have any questions about new construction, I'd love to be your expert. Or if you have questions about buying or selling a home here in the Northern Virginia, Loudoun County area, I'd love to be a resource for you. My email is right here. Or you can call me at 571-354-7325. If you like our new construction content that we're putting out, um, we're putting out new videos every week, definitely hit the subscribe button so you're notified the next time we have a video. Have a great day.